uh hi guys my name is narayan and i welcome all of you viewers in this video again and uh, before going for the in this video i would like to introduce you about my youtube channel so my youtube channel is uh, totally based on uh, ccnn uh, mcitp and uh, if you type my name in youtube by narayan bagheel like this my channel will come on the top uh as you can see here this is my channel and i have uploaded some around 241 videos or uh, till now and uh, if you subscribe this channel you will get all the videos and second thing i have one more uh, uh, one uh, ccn page here in facebook if you search this ccn page uh you will get like this uh, basically this is my page so i upload uh, all the videos here also so if you go to this page like this this is my uh, page here you will get all those videos here also and uh, uh, this is what uh, my channel is and i have a url also so i will tell you about all those things at the end so let's begin this video and in this video we are going to learn about how to configure not so stubby area uh, which is also known as an ssa so first of all we will try to understand few things i have already uploaded one separate video about uh, the types of uh, areas ospf areas one is normal uh, area or standard area second is stub area third is uh, third is uh, not so stubby area uh stubby area totally stubby area and this is a not so stubby area and one more i will update uh, totally not so uh stubby area next video so in this video we will uh, see few things here uh so first of all similarly to stubby area prevents external root from flooding into an area unless those uh, external roots originate from an asvr within the an ssa area so the thing is very simple if we have a scenario like this we have two external network here one is here and one is here and we have three separate areas area 1 area 0 area 2 so uh, the thing is very simple it will prevent from flooding the uh, routes from external networks for example if uh, any information is coming from this router uh, it will not flood to other areas and unless unless uh, those routes are generated by uh, asvr uh, routers which is also known as autonomous system border router so this will play role of asvr router here okay the next thing is if an asvr exists within an nssa area if we configure this for example if we configure this this area one as nss what will happen here if an asvr exists within an nssa area that asvr will generate type 7 LS, uh, lss so i have already uploaded one separate video in that video i have uh, explained what is type 7 type 5 type 6 type 4 3 and to 1 uh, lss if you subscribe my channel you will get all those things from here so the thing is very simple here uh this router will generate a type 7 uh lsa link state uh, advertisements so uh, we will see few more things in next uh, slide uh, see here what will happen again an ssa area uh, or almost identical to a stub area so it is almost like a stub area only if uh, area a was configured as an nss area so i told you if we configure this area as an ssa it would accept uh, it would not accept any external root originating from router b uh, router g so it will not accept any uh, root from uh, this router which is asvr uh, outside area 1 now what will happen however area 1 also has an asvr within the area router a those external root will be flooded into area a as type 7 so 
so we have router a here and one external area one more external area network here you can see so uh, uh, roots of this uh, network will uh, flood into area as type 7 again type 7 lsa these external external routes will not be forwarded to other areas as type 7 lsa so if we talk about uh, route update from uh, router g or router a will not forward it to uh, area 0 or area 2 as l uh, s type type 7 lsa it will be converted to into type 5 by router c which is our area border router if we go back to this one so router c is uh, a b r router here a b r area water router for area 1 and area 0 so whatever update will come from this side it will uh, before it uh, before it uh, going to uh, this side router d it will be converted into area uh, type 5 lsa so this is what we have basic things about uh, not so stubby area now if we want to configure uh, this on the OSPF environment so this will be a command first of all we will have to uh, enable this process ID the network and this is just example I have taken here I have taken example 10.1.1 like this but uh, uh, so this will this will be our uh, second command and this will be, uh, this will be third command area 1 and SSA uh, one more thing important here we need to uh, be aware the area 1 and SSA command must be applied to all routers in the NSSA area so this this command is mandatory to be configured on all the routers so what I have done here I have taken same kind of scenario I have uh, taken here okay so what I have done here I have connected a similar uh, kind of uh, routers here so this is my g router but i have not done uh, any configuration like ip or spf all all routers are empty as of now so let let uh, me configure ip addresses first here so i'm taking 192.168.0.0 network for this route and i'm uh, taking 172.23.145.0 for this route so i will configure this part only i will not configure this side because it will take long time okay so let me assign IP address first here and uh, first of all what we need to do here no enable it uh -huh. enable config terminal uh, go to interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and hit enter IP address 192.168.0.1 and 255.255.255.0 i'm giving class c and run command no shut down and uh, now next what we need to do we have to go to next port i mean next router so i'm going to this router now router v here no enable config terminal IP uh, INT serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 0 enter no shutdown command you can uh, type or clock rate you can you need you will have to assign clock rate here okay so I gave already now IP address IP address 172.23.1.145.0.1 and again I'm giving class C subnet marks and hit enter no shutdown I have already done so this is not required now we will go to this router so one is connected to 00 and one is connected to 010 so let me configure first 010 enable conf terminal again interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 and IP address here uh, 192.168.0.2 and 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown similarly what we need to do if we uh, see here clock rate we need to assign here 
इंटरफेस इंटरफेस सीरियल जीरो स्लैश जीरो वन स्लैश जीरो स्लैश जीरो एंड क्लॉक रेट हियर आल्सो आफ्टर असाइनिंग क्लॉक रेट द लिंक इज नॉट अप स्टिल I have configured the right port now. I'm here on router nine. Okay, port is okay. Clock rate no shut down. Still, this link is not up. Let me check it uh, this side once again. So serial uh, one. Okay, it is okay. Fine, no issues. This side down, no shut down. Oh, I have made a mistake, a small mistake here. Actually, this uh, port is, uh, I mean, this interface is hidden here, so I applied, uh, I applied this on wrong port. So let me. Uh, reload this router uh, and and reload so all uh, configuration will go not an issue so we have given IP address proper IP address here uh, this is my uh, interface serial 001 and this is okay what we need to check here this uh, interface is connected to 00 and I assigned IP address to serial 00, 00, uh, serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 that is that is the reason it was not coming so now what we need to do no again enable conf terminal interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and IP address 192.168.0.2.255.255.0 and no shutdown now if we run this command this uh, link is up so similarly we have to do for this interface also so for this one we have serial 001 exit from here and interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and IP address 172.23.145.2 and no shutdown and just uh, see here both the links are up now green so we have done the basic things here basic uh, IP configuration and all now what we need to do we will uh, configure this router this router this router as an SSA so what is the command here uh, we have so the command will be like this okay first of all we need to uh, configure uh, process ID OSPF so I'm going to router 7 router 7 let me go back here again so I'm configuring this router 7 first so e exit here from here now router OSPF I'm giving ID 10 okay now we need to assign network so network is 192 dot and I'm taking wildcard marks 0 dot 0 dot 255 dot 255 dot this much only now we have to assign area 1 because we are going to configure an SSA uh, in area 1 only and the next command is what we need to do area 1 and if we put question mark it will give you options we can configure authentication I have already uploaded one video how to enable authentication default cost for this also an SSA range is tab virtual link I have already uploaded video separate video for this for this uh, for this for this for this and remaining uh, today's this one so we have to do an SSA so go back to router 7 we are here only then n ss a hit enter so this is what we have uh, configured here not so stubby area if we uh, go to so ip ospf and check here so it is showing it is a n ss area okay and uh, there are some more things so we have to just verify this thing not so stubby area so we will do the same thing here also we just 
go here and exit from here and uh, router ospf 10 network we have to configure two network here 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.